So how do we treat abnormal vaginal bleeding? Well, there's lots of different ways to treat abnormal vaginal bleeding, but let's talk about some of this. The first thing to talk about is, is abnormal vaginal bleeding in which you're not bleeding enough, because it's probably the easiest. First, uh, we often need to rule out um, that there hasn't been a problem, so sometimes we'll need to do a procedure called an endometrial biopsy to make sure there's no cancer or precancer. But once we know that everything's safe, uh, then the general treatment is to get you a period at least every two to three months. And so for women that don't need birth control, I usually put them on a medication called Provera that they can take for 10 days, and then it will trigger a period. And I tell women, you know, if you go to more than two months without a period, take the Provera for 10 days, that'll trigger a period, and that will keep you safe. Now for women that desire birth control, birth control pills or other hormonal contraceptives will generally make the periods come regularly and also protect the uterus from not enough bleeding. So that's the not enough bleeding side. But the more common problem is women that bleed too much. And so the way you treat the bleeding really depends on what's causing the bleeding. And there's sort of two big categories. If there's a structural problem with the uterus that's causing the bleeding, then usually you treat the structural problem, and that would be some kind of surgery. So for instance, if you have fibroids, there's a whole bunch of different surgical treatments for fibroids, although sometimes they can be managed medically. Um, if you have a polyp, removing the polyp will generally uh, solve the problem. So structural problems are treated structurally. Now, once we've done the big workup and we find that you don't have a structural problem, then that tells us that you have some sort of hormonal imbalance that's causing you to bleed abnormally. And so usually a hormone problem is treated first off with hormones and it usually works. So if you need birth control, birth control pills work very well because they provide you with birth control and they also treat the bleeding by making your periods usually light and very regular. So that's one way to do it. Other things would be other hormonal birth control options such as the um, patch or the um, uh, vaginal ring or even the Mirena IUD can be very good at treating abnormal vaginal bleeding. Now if the hormonal methods don't work then we may have to treat you with a surgical approach. The, the simplest thing is what's called a DNC and that's generally done in the operating room with you asleep uh, where an instrument is passed through the cervix into the uterus and the uterus is scraped and that scrapes the lining of the uterus and sort of kind of hits the reset button and puts the uterus back in square one. That often will help abnormal vaginal bleeding but usually it's a short-term fix and eventually it often comes back. That can be used in an emergency if you're really bleeding a tremendous amount it will usually stop the bleeding right away. And so a DNC is one option. Usually, if we do a DNC for abnormal bleeding, we do a hysteroscopy at the same time, and that's a procedure where we put a little teeny camera through your cervix into your uterus just to look and make sure that there aren't any fibroids or polyps that might have been missed on the ultrasound. Um, if there are, then we can often treat them with the DNC while we're doing the hysteroscopy and DNC. If you're done having children, then there are other options. One is something called an endometrial ablation. That's usually combined with a hysteroscopy DNC. It's an outpatient procedure where we basically do the hysteroscopy, the DNC, and then we ablate the uterus, which basically means that we burn the inside of the uterus to try to make it so that it's not able to bleed anymore. There are different ways that there are different techniques that this is done. Um, uh, one way is to put a balloon inside your uterus that's filled up with hot water, uh, which is left against the uterus for about eight minutes, and then remove. That works very well at burning the inside of the uterus. There's also a device that goes in there and basically cauterizes the uterus with electric current. And there's another one that passes hot fluid directly against the endometrium um, in your uterus to burn the uterus. But they all work basically the same way by burning the endometrium and destroying the endometrium so that it's no longer capable of bleeding. It tends to work very well. About 80% of women are very satisfied with that procedure. It's an outpatient procedure. You go home the same day. It doesn't require a lot of time off work. It can cause a lot of watery discharge, which can be extremely annoying, but it's not really a painful procedure. So that's a nice way to treat abnormal bleeding that isn't being treated adequately by hormones. It has 80% chance of working um, and very little sort of time off work, pain, sort of investment um, for the surgery. Now, if that doesn't work, then finally, hysterectomy is sort of the ultimate treatment for abnormal bleeding. Hysterectomy is removal of the uterus. Um, and so once the uterus is out, then we know your uterus can't bleed anymore. So that's the one way we can guarantee that we can solve your abnormal bleeding. Now, that is sort of the, the ultimate extreme way, and we usually don't do that until we've tried some of the other approaches. 
uh, but that will certainly fix it. And the hysterectomy, depending on your individual situation, can be done through your vagina, or it can be done through an open incision like a C-section incision, or sometimes it can be done through a scope, through a laparoscope with several little holes in your belly um, and taking the uterus out that way. So those are the, the basic concepts of treatment for abnormal vaginal bleeding, and the treatment that your doctor discusses with you is really going to depend on your individual situation.